Good evening. My name is Gary Anderson. I'm producing artistic director for Plowshares Theater Company. Plowshares' mission is to bring to life passionate stories told through the prism of the African American experience. We appreciate the generous support of the Kresge Foundation for underwriting local artists creating an original work that is universal in scope, but Detroit-centered. We commissioned this play because we believe one of the untold stories of Detroit is that of Black Bottom. Some of the themes that we address in this play resonate with the conversation America is going through right now. We believe that's what theater is for, for moments like this. It provides us a way of addressing relevant issues of the day, an opportunity to sing in protest when our voices are tired of crying, to inspire hope in the face of despair. Originally, we had planned a summer concert of the full score, but obviously those plans were halted by COVID-19. So we thought the next best thing would be to give you a sneak preview of what we've been working on. This concert will give you something to look forward to when we're able to be in a theater once again. So tonight, we want to invite you into our homes. Tonight, we want to give you a glimpse of this passionate story. Tonight, we ask you to sit back and enjoy concert preview of Hastings Street, the musical. Two separate communities. Black Bottom was a predominantly black neighborhood in Detroit. Everybody from Black Bottom, Paradise Valley, there was hustlers. Detroit is a hustling city. Today, both communities are gone. Droning a drowsy, sophisticated tune, rocking back and forth to a mellow croon. Swaying to and fro on his rickety stool, he played that old saggy rag like a musical fool. I don't know what Langston was listening to, but in his words you can feel the music, the lilt of the melody, the pulse of the rhythm, the sounds of a city. Detroit, 1948. Nestled in the heart of the city, two neighborhoods straddled Gratiot Avenue, Black Bottom, and Paradise Valley. The center of the black community, they pulsed with a rhythm all their own. And this is where our story begins, with a family not too different from yours or mine. With her brother lost to war, Renita struggles to balance the family business with her duties as a mother. But even through hard times, she sees the world through different eyes. She shares this vision with her young daughter as they walk through the streets of the city.
It's a bright Sunday morning in Detroit, but instead of heading to church, Renita drops her daughter off at Sunday school and heads into work. The Carson Corner store is an institution in Black Bottom. Neighbors have been coming in for years to grab a cup of coffee and sit at the counter for breakfast before shopping for their groceries. Her father, Robert Sr., started the store with the vision of passing it down to his children. But with his son missing, Robert has fallen into a deep depression, leaving Renita to keep the business afloat. Bobby's disappearance has affected the entire community, and Renita's husband, Marlon, has been making an effort. But his idea of helping has led to, well, some trouble at home. Marlon's basement juke joint has become a hit in the bottom, but it's also attracted some unsavory characters. And that has put him squarely in the doghouse with his wife. So, in an effort to get back in her good graces, Marlon offers Renita everything he has, his love, his affection, or a trip to anywhere in the world. I know it's been a while since your smile has seen the sunlight of another sky. The clouds over the city have left your soul dry. But I will carry your spirit to any place your mind's eye can see. Just come with me. Wherever you want to go, let's get there. Let's lay plans to get away. You only got one thing left to tell me Africa, Thailand, or Bombay Just know I plan to give you all you need Darling, we can get away from this busy city Come on and dream this dream with me Just me and you and baby girl Just name the time we'll tour the world Against the world You're making up some crazy talk Just trust me I'll shower you with mink and pearls You know I don't need all those foolish things Hush baby, you do deserve Everything you can dream So come on and dream this dream with me Just me and you and baby girl Marlon manages to brighten Renita's day, but her spirits soar even higher when her brother Bobby finally comes home. Showing up that night as if out of nowhere, the beleaguered Tuskegee Airman returns home to a fanfare that spreads across all of Paradise Valley. Men want to be him and women want to date him, but Renita is just grateful to have her brother home and safe. However, while the family celebrates his return, his high school sweetheart Naomi knows there's something wrong. He's distant, damaged, and hurting, and eerily silent about his absence. But Naomi has problems of her own. 
So instead of trying to fix him, she takes a moment for herself to relax with Renita and her mother Beatrice. Now, Miss B is a raucous, no-nonsense woman. And while Naomi and Renita sit around complaining, she refuses to let them doubt themselves. Sure, it might be the 1940s, but there isn't a thing these women can't do on their own. What? Oh, I know. Nowadays, everybody says you gotta be married. You need a man to do this, you need a man to do that. No, child. Without us, they'd be lost. Without them, but we'd be just fine. Cleopatra rode from the pyramids to the great and mighty Nile. She had royal subjects far and wide, bending to her every smile. But just one week or a single wave, men would swoon and kings would cave. Even gods laid eyes at the cause of her beguile. Now the queen of Sheba ruled an army a million men no more. Says who? Uh, Isaac Newton? Man. That's ridiculous. White man. So you know he's lying. Maybe so, Miss B. But that's not the way we learned it in school. Who wrote the textbooks? Men? Exactly. But mama. No, girl. Look, if you want something in this world, you gotta reach out and take it. Can you imagine if old Ida B thought to sit around and wait? If she thought. The women laugh, but in the back of her head, Renita knows something's wrong. Marlon's gotten himself in too deep with some local hustlers, and she needs Bobby's help to put everything back together. But the scars of war still affect him, and when she goes to him for help, Bobby responds by finally being honest with his sister. I can't do this, Renita. I'm sorry, but... The dinners and parties and porches, the fixing the gate and tending the store, I just can't. I'm broken, Renita. Can't you see that? You have to be able to see that. I swear, I break more and more every day. And now here I am back at home and everything feels the same but different at the same time, you know. The lights, the sounds, the smells, it's like... Like I can hear the pulse of the city. A heartbeat that sounds almost familiar and each time I think I, I can put it together, each time I think I can hold on, one more thing gets piled on top and I just can't. I can't breathe. But then I look at you. My big sister. You beat me into this world by three minutes and been taking care of me ever since. And I, I left, I volunteered because I thought that maybe that could be my way of taking care of you. But now when you actually need me, I never meant to leave you alone. I, I really didn't. What 
I could be I follow the path that was laid in front of me Now here I stand, wondering am I strong enough? People all cheer, yet I fear that inside I'm only a fake A mistake, and I try to hide from the fear But it's here inside my mind I can stand to stay awake And so I break And fly, boy Fly from the dangers inside, boy Stay safe with strangers beside you No one who truly knows You feel lost and alone So just fly, boy Fly to a place you can find, boy A place where there's no one to hold And stay in control Sometimes I think I can feel myself sinking How do I wake from this nightmare I'm dreaming Try to hold on But my arms are not strong enough Everywhere I turn I see drowsy, sophisticated tune, rocking back and forth to a mellow croon, swaying to and fro on his rickety stool. He played that old, saggy rag like a musical fool. Renita and Bobby, Marlon, Naomi, and Beatrice, they're all examples of everyday people dealing with the complexities of life. They struggle with some of the same difficulties we deal with today. And, just like us, they fight for the safety of their family, their neighbors, and their community. When we set out to write this piece, we wanted to capture their essence. 
we wanted to tell the story of our families and our community through their struggles and their joys. That's why this last selection is so important. Tonight's final piece is an embodiment of the energy and life that once filled the streets of Detroit. It's an energy that never left us, a spirit that lives inside each and every one of us, growing stronger with every generation. And far into the night, we crooned that tune. The stars went out, and so did the moon. The singers stopped playing and went to bed, while the weary blues echoed through his head. Right here. Here on Hastings Street. Evening, Mr. Simpson. Adele. Coffee? It got rum in it. Nope. Why not? You all right? Look like you've been through. Man, my feet show are tired and my back is so. Woof. I know how you feeling, Jack. Lord knows. Ain't got no way to make it through the week. It's only Wednesday. You better head on home. All month ain't earned a penny more. Well, neither have we, fool. Ain't we at least earned the right to rest a beat? <laughs> Are you the one that's gonna ask Mr. Ford? Every morning, dragging myself out of bed. Fast at work before the sun peaks his head. Shuffling home two, three hours after dark. Barely time to rest before it starts. All over again. But at least when I need to find relief, I go down to the bottom and climb up the high here on Hastings Street. If y'all ain't the most complaining this folk, like we ain't got a right. Let the man vent. That's all he ever does. Hot air. When Monday comes each week, I just bow my head and cry. Yeah, girl, I know the feeling. Ooh, wee! Each minute drags on with no end inside. Ain't that what he just said? Fool, ain't nobody listening to you. I work till my feet hurt, my head ache, my back is so. Ooh, they got you working too hard, Dale. No way. Ah, uh, y'all got it easy. Shut up, man. You stupid. Morning comes, gotta get myself up out the door. Kids a mess, and that man still yearning for no Baby, baby just, just wait. Spend all day scrubbing flow after flow after flow. Hit that bed, and all I hear is <laughs> all over again. But at least when I need to find relief, I go down, down to, to the, the bottom and climb up the high. Still got more hours to go. Tick, tick, tock. Here's a mark of the clock going slow. Begging, please, but that boss won't let us out of the door. Five o'clock and all we hear is overtime. Have you lost your mind? But at least when I need to find relief, I go down to the bottom and climb up the line. Here on Hastings Street.
relax, come and take a whole load off your feet. Rest a beat, just enjoy the allure of the street. Come have fun, and we promise you will concede. Paradise is all you'll ever need. So any time that you find you need relief, just come down to the bottom and climb up for high. Happy in the valley where my feet touch the sky. If you wonder where I'm going, when it's slowing, you should know it's right here. We hope you enjoyed tonight's concert. We are grateful to all of the artists who helped made it possible, especially the show's creators, Chris Johnson and John Sloan. But more importantly, we're grateful to you, our audience. This is a challenging time for all of us who love theater and we know how hard it is. But I want you to believe that we're gonna be stronger when we come out of this than we, when we went in. In the coming months, we're gonna to continue to develop this play and I want you to stay connected to Plowshares. I want you to do that by going to our website and also connecting to us, following us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you very much for your attendance. We can't wait to bring this show to you. Good night.